to say in um, part two, that must have been the most difficult scene, you know, where Freddy's coming out your body. I love that scene. That was my favorite one. I like, um, you know, in all the movies, I think Brady's death is yeah. the best one. Yeah. For me, because it's like, it's so simple that it's scary because it could really happen. You know, yes. like you could be in the bedroom and think. Yeah, the other ones are a little fantastical. I like, but I, I actually like our movie a lot. I'm like really proud of it. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. of course you gotta be. Was it your favorite um, nightmare film as well, considering that you were in it? Or? Well, because I'm in it, yeah, and because Kim's in it, I like it. Yeah, but, of course, uh, yeah. I also like the first one. I like Dream Warriors. Dream Warriors, yeah. yes. And I uh, I think that's really fun. But I like ours the best because I think it's actually the best, darkest of them all. Yeah, know? I agree. And the music is really beautiful, and the cinematography yeah. I like a lot. I agree. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, and I, I get the checks from those ones, so I like that. Right, I can imagine. Which I Hey guys, what's up? It's Adam here, aka Cena Guy. Want to talk about the pattern? Okay. My partner, as you all know, played Jesse Walsh in Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. Got no complaints whatsoever. Meeting Mark. It's not to meet anybody from the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise because I'm a diehard Freddy Krueger fanatic. We could see Freddy on my arm. You know, I've met several cast members, including Robert Eglund. I mean, Mark Patton was just an honour, you know, not because he's just part of the um, Nightmare on Elm Street films, but he was a generally nice guy, like you saw like that video right at the start of this review. He was very talkative, he was eager to meet the fans, he was very approachable, very well-mannered, you know. That day I met Mark Patton and Alex Vignolno, played Andy Barkley in the Charles Play franchise, and please see other videos for that. But um, Mark Patton, yeah, he was a just guy. I mean, he was talkative. I mean, he kept a conversation going when I asked him questions about the kill scene of Grady in um, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. You know, he kept the conversation going and he was eager to answer all my questions. You know, and he wasn't rushing me either, you know, like some celebrities do where they just want to get the signing over and done with and they hardly say a word. Well, Mark Patton wasn't like that. You know, he was very talkative and just a very genuine guy. Um, he let me have a selfie took with him for free, on like Alex Vincent. <laughs> but um, you know, and even personalised autograph put to Adam. He's inside of me. Jesse Walsh, you know, Mark Patton, and I'm, I really like the picture that he signed as well. You know, the scene where he's in the shower and he's got Freddy's glove on. That was the shower scene, you know, where um, Coach Schneider got killed in a bizarre fashion, you know, he got spammed by the towel and fucking sliced by Freddy's glove in the show scene, you know. But I like Night I like Nightmare on Elm Street Part Two. One in the franchise, but I'd say it's in the top one somewhere, you know. Um, I must review all the Nightmare soon, so um for those of you who plan on meeting Mark Patton, you won't be disappointed, you know, he's a genuine guy like I've already and like I say in the future I'm looking forward to meeting any more actors from the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise as well. So like I said, I've got no complaints. You know, you won't get any better than Mark Patton, really. So um, please like, around, comment, everyone in here, mind for any questions. Peace out.